Hey everyone, welcome back to another Chanka video. This one will be only for entertainment and purposes only since I don't really completely recommend this, you do. But we are going to be partially disassembling the Pasture Airbag Module, but we will be taking precautions like disconnecting mega battery terminal and waiting 30 minutes for 30 minutes for the battery the kind of juice to, to get out of the capacitors and whatnot. I already got part of it removed. The dash panel removed is what I mean. Right here, the shop manual says to, to completely remove this, but we only need to get our hands underneath the uh, finish plate. So we have it partially removed, two screws, and this thing just pulls out. I will be making a video on how just to replace this entire thing because we have a new one coming in to fix this gapping hole in there so that that will be fixed. But we are going to wait 30 minutes to be back at 9.50 so that we can start taking apart that right there. Now, I'm not a professional mechanic, though I do this on my own time. Why are we going to be disassembling this is to replace the, that chrome insert. Yes, that is metal, not plastic, surprisingly. So, we're going to be back. Now, I could pull out the paper shop workshop manual, or I could just look it up on all that here. This is for the Pasha Irving module, which we'll be taken of, but this is the diagram on how to move it. All that says this is uh, about a 40 minute job. Probably all the way around, put taking the other, putting it back out. <coughs> so what we have here is the screws for the instrument cluster, all the bolts, so seven millimeter pull those out, then the rest of this pulls out. And uh, we have, if you have to pull down the glove component, which I will show you how to do, and then it exposes two nine millimeter bolts held on with eighty foot pounds. So you got to disconnect those, <coughs> and then you also have to disconnect this electrical connector. Now all data says to depower the system, steering column all the way down, and as well as a shift tool, I put it in uh, parking brake, so that, you know, just, just in case. And then they say to release the semi color finish panel, open the glove compartment, disconnect the isolator, I'll also show you how to do that. Fully lower the compartment door, and then how to disconnect the connector itself. They say push down the fascia airbag connector, push down, pivoting electrical connector retainer, pull out, and then they're saying to push from the back side to disengage the clips to pull out of the uh, dash panel itself. And then it's showing you where the clips is. And of course, for installation we have. So once again, I'll just go top to bottom again. You can pause the video. So the first step we got to do after removing the instrument cluster bezel, or partially removing it, is to disconnect this uh, soft release. What you do is pull up on the glove box slightly, and then it pulls down and comes right out. After that's done, we're going to pull on each side to release it. And then possibly have to remove this, but we are going to attempt to uh, not do that and just release those bolts up there and then hopefully get our hand out of there. I believe this is an 8mm, but if it's not, I'll be back. As I said before, this is an 8mm. I did have to disconnect uh, this uh, plate right here. It's just simply held on with four Phillips head screws and it pulls right out. I think I'll take this in and clean it. Mine as well. And we have a part number though that's upside down. Now that we have all the two 8 millimeter bolts removed, there's our electrical connector right here. And we somehow have to figure out what in the world they meant by pushing together and then pulling out. So I'm going to work on that. The connector is a slight pain to remove, but basically what I did was, I'll show you what I did. Uh, but I pushed it together and then had to reach kind of back there to push in a clip and it pulled right out. Now that you can pull your hand right under this plate and then from the back you push out this side. You can probably pull it out by pulling out just that side because I did it with like an 05 town car but I recommend you just go from the back. And now since all of them are disconnected we're going to pause the video bring this inside and be 
uber careful with sanding this down and take, taking it apart. The Airbag module I took apart from the junkyard was the 2003. Uh, they changed a couple things about this. I think the connector was flipped. The other one was on the top. And then these are held in with 10, a 10 millimeter instead of a really small, probably eight or seven millimeter. And I think there was fewer of them. So what we're gonna do is grab a ratchet and just start on loosening all of these 10 millimeter bolts. And then this housing and this explosive device, should be careful not to touch, should pull right out. The next step is, and once you have that out, it just pulls right out. Next up would be the bag itself. This is only secured with uh, uh, screws, screws pivoting out that that piece mounts to. There's here and here, three here. So this pulls out and then these screws are shoved under here. So what you want to do is kind of maneuver it so the bolts come out and then you'll be able to slide this out. Now this is the piece we are replacing. I have this one from a 03 town car. And how you replace this is by disconnecting or pulling these, sorry, well, it was focus lock for some really dumb reason, is by removing or unclipping these metal tabs that are folded over each other. What we probably want that is a flathead screwdriver. Now that we have our trusty flathead, we're going to begin pulling uh, each one of these out with two hands, wiggling back and forth and pulling the tab so that they're flat and they can just come right out. And we're back. Once that is successfully out, we can begin pulling them out. As I said, this is a stainless steel. See how it just bends on me? It's actually probably aluminum if I had to guess. But this is now officially trash since I bent it. You gotta be careful when pulling these out of a junkyard because you don't want to bend them. One little bend and you're basically done. You'll have that bend in there. We are going to clean this up inside it out just this piece we're not going to clean those two and then we will be back and i'm installing this fancy piece just taking a look at this some nice things to note we have a port number there old motor company in the nice font some date codes made in mexico also assembled in there now this would be a good time to apply some plastic polish, but that's probably what ruined this thing because I was using a uh, kind of a grinder to get it in there. Now uh, I also used tool from pliers. We're going to apply this, kind of line them up carefully, and then push them down. Fairly certain these were assembled by a machine because there was no dent marks on the old ones from installation. A trick is to get a nice big flathead and with one finger push in so it fits flush and then grab your flathead and push against the very lower of this insert. And then once that's in, twist it and then push down and the same goes for the other side. Now that all of them are in and it is completed, we are going to go ahead with the installation procedure starting with the airbag itself. Now it is time for installation, we are probably going to be time lapsing this. And we're done. And now it's time for installation. So we got this thing all hooked up and together, the airbag module itself. And I have the surrounding area cleaned up as well. If you wanted to remove this vent, you would have to move the module to get to it. This one right here on the right side. But this one is good as far as I know. So we're gonna start putting this thing back together.
And that ought to do it. We got the airbag installed and the chrome insert successfully replaced. And then I'm going to put this back together, connect the battery and check for codes. And that'll wrap it up for this video. Thanks for stopping. Thanks for watching and have a good one.